Hi, welcome back. I'm Lawrence. Okay, it's time for us to continue our spreadsheet anim uh, animation tutorial. Before we go on, I'm going to fix a few things here. We're gonna have to delete this red color. First, where is it? Left leg, yes. Done. And then, and then, we're gonna have to create a few more things. Before that, I want to rename my layer first. This one should be left foot, and this one over here is left left hand. This one, I'm just going to name this left hand too. After that, highlight everything from the lef left hand to to the head, and then make it put it in the folder, and then rename this as time frame one. Time frame one. After that, copy and hide the time frame one and i think we better ungroup this first because we already have time frame one and then unhide the run now let's move to time frame two hide one and we're going to refer this one right now let's zoom in a bit i don't think we need the head hide the head again and then let's start with this right hand which is this one go ahead and select the body lasso tool cut layer via cut and move it aside i mean okay let's bring that so i, sh I should have layer via copy history and delete this and then right click right click layer via copy and move this aside and then select the body again but before that we should rename this first as right hand and then go back to the body delete this and then <coughs> we use this image reference over here to follow the hands now I'm going to position this my our character hands to this position Too low, I guess. Somewhere there. But this should be alright. Should be on. Supposed to be on top. There. Let's go to the smudge tool. That should be okay. And then let's go to the left hand. 
to rotate a little bit right about there okay <laughs> both of it select shift and select control T and then rotate too high because we are referring this image behind and I'm going to resize this slightly smaller and click enter on your keyboard we're going to fix this by erasing use the eraser tool and then let's go to the leg start with this leg over here rotate undo the move Control T, rotate just a little bit, right about there, enter, reposition, alright, about there, and now we're going to have to, we're gonna have to split this, so that I can bend the leg, from here, use the lasso tool, cut, wait I'm going to cancel this I'm going to make a copy shift and erase this and select this erase about there and let's rotate this a little bit more and let's zoom in perfect but we still have to do some touch up here using the smudge tool I think I'm going to start with this right leg and start smudge tool and it's perfect now let's get back to the left leg rotate oops cancel we need to select both of it but why do we have this white area here? Okay, uh, we have to fix this by using the smudge tool and let's go ahead and fix this about there and then select both of it shift select try and move if you are selecting the right thing yes and then rotate control T so that we have the transformation too and then rotate a, li a little bit but don't too much not too much about there <laughs> enter we'll fix this letter and then and then I believe we're gonna have to make a copy this and make it uh, split it into two 
alternate select and move E delete for erase and delete this about there and then this this E for eraser about there and then we bring back this foot here put it back to position and then select both control click and rotate then bring it here I think it's too long. I'm going to resize this, then reposition, don't worry about this, we'll fix that later, but weird, still looks so long. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to yes. It's look weird there. And then let's use the smudge tool. Make sure you select this hip, smudge tool, let's zoom it a bit, smudge, 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 smudge tool, erase tool, select this, erase tool, select this, erase tool, and there we go, we have it. And let's bring the head. Let's hide the image reference. Do the same thing. Select everything over here until here. Make it a folder. Rename this as time frame 2. And make it a copy. Uh, I'm going to undo that. Make it a copy and hide this time frame 2 and we're going to start working time frame 3 same thing ungroup this one and don't forget to save your work and I guess that's it for now. See you on my next tutorial. Thanks for watching.